Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Face Off Friday, where we take a few boxes and put them against each other and see which one was the best of those particular boxes for the opening. Today we have a holiday version, since it's now the holiday season, December's here, Top's Holiday is out. We've got 2019 Top's Holiday, which is going to be the runaway favorite for this, as of course they've got a bunch of good rookies in 2019. Just think back to Fernando Tatis Jr. and Vlad Jr., Pete Alonso, Aloy Jimenez, and, all, and the like. Uh, so that's likely going to end up winning. That's obviously my pick. But we'll see if we have an upset today. We also have 2020 Tops Holiday, which will feature, obviously, Luis Robert and Bo Bichette. And then we have the brand new 2021 Tops Holiday, which just came out. Um, actually like a couple days ago, so we'll see what we can find. Now, this is uh, about a hundred plus dollars on eBay. These are both about 30 each on eBay or so. Um, back in the day though, they were, this was 1999. I think this was 1999 as well. Now it's 21.98. So it's, you know, went up just a tad bit. I uh, can't blame them with the cost of inflation and everything, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with 2020. Now, I've got to have a really keen eye for this because there are short prints randomly inserted in here at a rate of about one in every seven packs. And those short prints can sometimes be really, really tough to see. So I hope I don't miss any. But Derek is our sponsor today. Derek, thank you very much. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one or participate in our Saturday showdowns or our case breaks, Please check us out on Patreon. It is $4.99 per month, and we have a big 12 Days of Trout Misc uh, whole series coming up. Almost two full weeks of looking through 2011 products for Mike Trout rookie cards, which should be really, really fun. Uh, it is starting to fill right now. And there's plenty of spaces available because I picked up a whole bunch of different boxes of 2011 over the course of of the last year just for this purpose. So, Derek, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start out with, um, how about we start out with 2021? and work our way backwards. I was going to start with 2020, but let's do 2021 first and see what we can find. Now, if you watched our preview video of this on Wednesday, you might recall there is one ornament inside, which I'm not going to count that as a card. So I always take out the top five cards and put them on the screen. And then we determine from the top five cards what the best box was. Usually that is all we really need to determine. Sometimes the boxes are completely terrible and sometimes you get a really good one. Now there is going to be a hit in each of these boxes. The um, ornament is Shohei Otani, which is nice. Definitely would take that one, I would imagine, Derek. So here we go. 2021 Tops Holiday, and I will go as slow as I need to to make sure I don't miss any um, short prints. Like, for example, okay, that's normal. That sliding glove, that uh, oven mitt, as some people call it, on Bo Bichette. There's a Zach Birdie. Now, the just regular short prints aren't flipped upside down, and look at this. We have one right off the bat. It is a Corey Seager wearing a Santa belt. Can see it right there. Sometimes they're tough to find. I mean, if you're going through them real quick, you might not even recognize that. So that is a nice start for 2021. You've got a short print, Nick, or not, not, not Nico Horner, Nick Madrigal. So you see Nico Horner. Uh, what else do we have? There's Reese Hoskins. We've got Isaac Paredes rookie card, and one of my favorites, Starling Marte, to round out box number one. Also, one of these might have an autograph. One in approximately 30 boxes will have autographs in them. The rest are just going to be relics. There's Albert Pujols. We've got Byron Buxton, Chris Sale. That is a metallic snowflake. I'm not going to put too much extra value on those metallic snowflakes unless they're for a good rookie. They are um, one in every two packs. Here's Jake Cronenworth. He's good enough to go into my maybe pile for right now. And Luis Campusano is our next one right there. Next up for Derek see what we can find for you we start things off with Yermin Mercedes unfortunately his cards went way down um, because Tony La Russa chewed him out and a lot of people think that is what led to his demise and holy cow we've got a Mike Trout and this is going to be either a rare short print or a super short print it's flipped upside down wow it's Mike Trout all wrapped up in Christmas lights. There we go. Very great. That's probably going to be the number one card of this box. Maybe of the entire video. And it's Mike Trout. Now let's look at the number on the back. That's going to tell us. It is a rare short print. 
that's 26, 27, and 28. That is going to be worth some money for sure. So, Derek, that, I don't know what it goes for. Jonathan India right behind him. That's going to be our number one card for this box. 2021 might actually pull an upset here and win this face-off Friday. Now, there could be an autograph in one of these boxes. You never know. It could be a super short print. Let's go and find out what else we've got the rest of the way. There's Jared Kelnick, rookie card. That one's good enough to go in my maybe pile. I'd actually probably put that personally in front of the Jonathan India. You might think I'm crazy, but I think long term, uh, Kelnick is going to be a better player than um, India. But we'll see. I mean, just a prediction. Next, we've got Bobby Dalbeck, rookie card. Jose Ramirez, Garrett Crochet. There's Francisco Lindor. Uh, Joey Votto. Looks like he really choked up on the bat there. Look, he's choked up a good two inches on the bat. Must, must have been like an 0-2 count or something like that. Tarek Skubal, Joe Adele. We found his short print in the preview video with a scarf around his neck, which is pretty nice. The next pack, we've got Kyle Lewis. Zach Wheeler, who was a finalist for the Cy Young Award, actually finished third in the Cy Young Award voting. There's Aaron Nola. Clayton Kershaw. We got Devin Williams, Trey Mancini, who I believe was the comeback player of the year. Jose Barrios in his Blue Jays uniform. And there's Carlos Correa, who's a free agent, getting uh, almost taken out there by Kyle Lewis. I think that pack has the hit in it. It just felt a little more thick upon, um, you know, picking it up. Cedric Mullins is the first card there, which is a very nice one. Cedric Mullins, of course. 30-30 guy. For the Orioles and their team MVP. Key Brian Hayes. I like that one a lot. Marcus Stroman. I probably should have put Joe Adele in this as well. There's uh, Bellinger without the belt. We found this card with a big belt around his waist in the preview video. They just airbrush little things like that in with a Christmas theme. There's Max Scherzer in his Dodgers uniform. Didn't last too long in L.A., huh? Just basically a couple months, and now he is moving on. He's a very rich man now. He's going to the Mets, and look at this. <laughs> it's a short print. If you're going quick through these, you're going to miss something like this. Alex Kirloff with a big old Santa sack on his back with presents on the ground. That's kind of cool. I like when they short print the rookies. It's very, very nice touch. Hassan Kim, there's Trevor Story. David, man, we've had a lot of short prints this box. I think 2021 might win this. It's been like, is that our third short, maybe fourth short print? We'll check it out here. Alec Bohm. What a good box. There's Jake Crenworth. That is a metallic snowflake. That one's probably going to make the top five as well. It's going to bump out his base card, Corbin Burns. And now it's time for the hit, which these relics, you never know. They could have autographs on them. Let's check out what this pack holds for Derek. So, Derek, you got a great box. You got a Mitch Hanniger that is a player worn jersey with a snowman on it. So, kind of cool. Um, with a couple bucks, no more than that. But it might not even make the top five because of these short prints. So, it's pretty easy. I think we can all agree that the number one card, here's the ones that I picked out. Um, I'm going to have the going to have the Mike Trout number one. I'm going to go with, let's get our short prints down so we can take a look at these. I guess we got three short prints. This is going to be eliminated. The India, Kelnick, and man, I, I guess, what do I, I, I I've got to say that the Relic is probably worth maybe just a tad bit more than the base rookie cards. If they were metallic snowflakes, they would make it, but I'm going to go Trout 1. Let's get these boxes out of the way because we're going to need to fit multiple lines three lines of cards here trout one i'm gonna go with the hmm i'm gonna go with kirloff two i'm gonna go with the crony metallic three i'm gonna go with the seager short print now with the rangers four and mitch hanniger five that was a darn good box now that mike trout alone why does that card keep moving like there we go. Finally stayed put. It was almost like levitating on the uh, the counter here. But the Mike Trout card's worth more than that entire box. The purchase price of that box. Super short print, or at least rare short print Mike Trout. And 2021 is firmly in the lead. Now, let's see if 2020 can knock it off its pedestal. 2020, here we go. It's been like a year since we've opened this. It's kind of exciting. Almost a year. This actually came out in January. 
after Christmas. They were a little bit delayed in getting this out. Last year was kind of screwed up. A lot of releases kept getting delayed because of the pandemic. Just if they had breakouts of the virus, they'd have to close down warehouses and production, and that just slowed everything down. The ornament is going to be an Aaron Judge. I'll show you that. I do like this ornament better than the uh, the Christmas star one that they have. just looks more like an ornament to me. All right, here we go. Let's do it again, and let's look for the... Um, short prints because they are in here there's jock peterston nico horner rookie card anthony rizzo will smith i'm not seeing anything yet now i don't know if they're going to flip the um i can't remember if they flipped them upside down or not in 2021 they do not flip just the regular shorts upside down you got to pay attention there's brian reynolds gold cup card i like that one bellinger we got a metallic of nelson cruz one in every two packs still Patrick Corbin, Luis Arias. We got Kevin Biggio right there, and Bruce Star Gratterall. Now, typically the short prints are going to be the major stars and top rookies. They're not going to probably short print somebody that's kind of a common that nobody really cares about. Um, like a Jake Rogers is not the top star, so they're not going to short print him. There's Juan Moncada. Victor Robles. We've got Shohei Otani right there, and our hit is a Buster Posey. Nice one right there, Buster Posey. That is going to be probably in the top five. We'll see Aloy Jimenez, gold cup card. I'm putting that one because right now we're having some bad luck in terms of any kind of big hits. Got a JBJ, Jackie Bradley on the back. There's Luke Voigt, led, the, uh, led all of baseball with 20 home runs in 2020. Josh Bell in his Pirates uniform, Kyle Seeger. He's, I think he's a free agent. I don't know if he's signed anywhere else. Back-to-back... Contreras cards. It's because one is a metallic snowflake. There's no short print there. There's Malik Smith. We got Brandon Nimmo and Jackie Bradley. As we can, this box has not been doing too well. Off to a rough start. There's Vladdy. That one definitely makes the maybe pile. Gold Cup card, second year card. Ryan Zimmerman, Ramon Laureano. Tops always loves to feature him going up the wall, making some kind of crazy catch. And here we go. Now, I do not remember the numbers for these, so I'm not sure. It ends in 71. Is a Max Scherzer. He's got Christmas lights around his neck. That's got to be a safety hazard. Max Scherzer, 71 is the number. Hopefully, we get a, just a regular short print. That'll help us figure it out because usually it goes... I bet you that's just a regular short print, 71. The numbers on the back start with... Uh, I can't even read that. I think it's 85, 65. See that? The last two numbers is what gives it away. I wish they make those numbers just a little bit uh, more legible. We've got Randy Rosarena. That is a great card right there. One of the best rookies in the set. That's likely going to be in our top three. We'll see. All right, next up, we've got Mitch Garver. There's a Jack Mayfield rookie card. Zach Gallen. We've got Domingo Leiba rookie card. Josh Hader. That is a metallic snowflake card. Gregory Polanco doing a little... Skip, I'm, I'm guessing he's going to come up throwing there. Why else would he be doing that unless he's trying to copy Alfonso Soriano? Remember when Soriano moved the outfield, he used to do a little hop whenever he'd go to make the catch. Any of you Cubs fans remember that one game out in uh, PNC Park? He's out in left field. Goes to make the catch. I think there's like two outs. He does the skip, and he like misses the ball because he, he hopped. And uh, I forget what happened, but I think that it may have cost the Cubs the game. Soriano, definitely a great player, though. Um, there's Kershaw. I think the short print is a skate hanging off his cleat. It's very, very um, subtle. I may have already missed one. I hope I didn't. I'm doing my best to find the short prints, but it's pretty obvious that 2021 is still well, well in the lead. There's Jordan Alvarez. That's a great card. One of the top three to five rookies in the set, depending on who you talk to. We've got Walker Bueller. Sam Hilliard with the big leg kick. There's a Christian Yelich. He's got a short print in this, I remember. I think it's uh, like an ornament hanging from his bat. Malik Smith, that's a metallic snowflake. Gonsolin rookie card. Jake Arrieta, I think he might be done. Didn't really go that well when he went over the Padres um, last year. Padres, man, they just really went south. I actually had the Padres going to the World Series, and wow, was I ever wrong. It looked like a good pick there for a while. I had the White Sox and Padres... White Sox made the playoffs. There's a metallic Kershaw. Probably not going to make my top five, though. Arnado, Trevor Story. There's Francisco Lindor. And a Gavin Lux rookie card. 
Gavin Lux rookie card, his regular base tops for somehow, some way, is like number eight in the most PSA 10s in existence. Like, man, people were really high on him, sending lots of his cards in, and he just really hasn't taken off yet. All right, this is our last pack. Not really seeing too much here, folks. Yeah, 2021 definitely wins the day, but I'm going to put the Max Scherzer short print as number one. Here's the other cards I'm considering. Personally, I'm going to go with um, Nico Horner's not going to make the cut. No offense, Cubs fans, but I've got to go with the. Oh, I'm going to go with Randy, number two. I'm going to go with. I'm going with Yordy, number three. This is just what I would buy. If, if all these were the same price, this is the order I would probably get them in. Now, you know what? Buster Posey's going to move up my list. They're, these are all close in value to me. The Buster Posey, seeing that it's a game-used jersey, kind of put me over the edge. So there's my top four. Now, the the last one, I'm just going to go with the uh, the second year of Vladdy card. So, um, man, we got one short print. A couple nice rookies. I would say the Relic was better than the 2021. But overall, that Mike Trout is going to be almost unbeatable. So now here we go. The big expensive box... Is it going to fall? It's the 2019 holiday box. Looking for Fernando Tatis Jr. and a Vlad Jr. rookie cards. Pete Alonso, Aloy Jimenez as well. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. These are pretty expensive, that's for sure. Did they give us an ornament back then? They did not. So that's something they started in... Uh, 2020 kind of a cool touch all right everybody here we go by the way thanks for watching i hope you enjoy this uh christmas themed holiday themed break here hope it gets you ready for the holidays at least in some aspect and uh there's Aloy jimenez very nice clint frazier no longer with the yankees i also hope you'll hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss anything all righty, so let's see what else we've got. The Aloy Jimenez is a nice one. It's not going to be nearly enough. We're probably going to need... Man, if we pull the Tatis, I'm going to have to really think long and hard about if I'm going to call it for 2021 or not. There's Mike Yastrzemski for those 107-win Giants. Harold Ramirez, rookie card. Cole Tucker, that's a rookie. It is a metallic snowflake. I don't think that's going to make my cut, though. I'll put it in there anyway. Maybe we'll just get all commons the rest of the way, and I'll need it. Michael Conforto, Lane Thomas rookie card, and Ryan Helsley rookie card is the last one. So, so far, kind of uh, a little underwhelming. The Aloy was nice, but there's Mitch Hanniger. Had a great 2021. Hunter Dozier, not so much. He struggled a bunch. Yasiel Puig might never play baseball again. Uh, we'll see. He's got some pending, I guess, stuff against him. I know that he did have a contract in hand for 2021 in spring training, I think it was, from the Braves, but he ended up coming down with the virus, and that just kind of screwed everything up for him. Now, that's a sometimes a short print when he's firing a snowball, the Manny Machado. That one, however, just a regular base card. Let's see what else we can find. There's Aaron Judge, Gathiro Estrada. We've had some good luck with Mike Trout the past couple days. I actually pulled a gold-plated coin of him yesterday. I looked it up afterwards. It's on eBay for $100. I looked at recently sold, which is kind of a better barometer, and um, one sold for $30, so I don't know. $30 to $100? Could I possibly get $50 for it? I don't know. Now, those coins, I bought three boxes of them. I think I paid uh, paid probably almost almost $60, bucks, between $50 and $60. They were $18 a piece. There's a Jeff McNeil rookie card. Got to put that one in the maybe pile because we're struggling right now. We don't have any of the big, big rookies. I mean, Aloy Jimenez is a nice one. Don't believe I've seen any short prints yet. That's a good one, folks. Brian Reynolds. That one's good in my maybe pile. He was a top 10 finisher in the most viable player voting. And, uh, man, he is having a great career. If you just take out last season, not last I guess, yeah, last season 2020 at like 189, but... The past, uh, past year. Oh, look at that. We've got the Tatis on the back. So now I have to decide if this is going to be my winning box. Man. And I'm not allowed to cheat either. I can't go to eBay and see. There's an Alex Bregman metallic. 
Nick Senzel, his stock really has fallen. People used to be all about his rookies, but not so much anymore. And there it is, the Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. All right, so whenever I go to card shows, I see his base rookie card from Series 2, usually about a $40 to $50 card. I don't know what this goes for. It's probably somewhere in that ballpark. Man, this is going to be tough. Oh, boy. That's likely going to be the number one, unless we find that in a metallic variation. Man, I don't know, folks. Without looking, is it going to be the 2021 box, or is it going to be the uh, 2019 box? Now, the 2021 box does have some nice short prints, which are kind of helping it out a little bit. Here comes our hit, by the way. It's Dustin Pedroia, who probably would have had a good shot at the Hall of Fame if not for his bad knees, costing him basically the last three years of his career, plus some more years after that. Pedroia was taken out by Manny Machado and just was never the same. It's a game-used memorabilia card. That one's likely going to make my top um, list here. I haven't found um, really any short prints, unless I missed them. That's always an, op that's always a, an, an option here. We've got Matt Chapman. DJ LeMay, Hugh Blake Snell, Luis Arise. I like him a lot. It's probably not going to make my maybe, maybe pile. Tyler Neal, big time budding star. Senzel, okay, Metallic, I'll put that in there since it's his rookie. Derek Dietrich, Christian Yelich, and Juan Soto, gold cup card. That's a pretty nice one. Going to make my maybe pile because it's a second year card. And people do like second year cards for sure. Got an Albies on the back. Justin Smoke. Shohei Otani, speaking of Gold Cup cards, there's a really good one. Oh, boy, I don't know what to do. And we have Nolan Arnauto. Wow. Not at the Nolan Arnauto. I mean, that's nice. We got the Vlad Jr. rookie card right after it. Holy cow. So I'm going to put the Vlad... Oh, man. I don't understand why Vladdy cards, at least last time I looked, aren't worth more than Tatis, but they're close. Nolan Arnauto, short print with the candy cane bat. I don't know, folks. I could be totally wrong here, but I think that 2019, for me at least, I think that does it. Now, I could be completely wrong. That mic shot could be worth something like over $100, which would you know, probably make it 2021. I'm very, very interested to see what that card's worth. Let me know in the comments section all about it. Now I have to just finish out the string here of the 2019. The Arnauto, since it's a short print, is likely going to make it. Um, the Dustin Pedroia will likely make it. The McNeil's not. The Cole Tucker's not. The eighth. Man, do I go with Aloy Jimenez or Brian Reynolds? Probably going to put these other ones aside. No offense to the Shohei Otani or, or Soto. Those cards are really, really good. But I'm probably going to go with my last card being... Man, this is tough. You guys know that I'm from Pittsburgh, but I think overall that Aloy Jimenez has a little more national recognition. So I think if these two cards, if you had them both out at a card show and you had like, a, I don't know, like a hundred of each of them, you would sell out of this one first if they were the same price. So I'm going to put that at number five. And that was, that was a really tough call there for Brian Reynolds and also the gold cups of Soto and Otani. So I think overall the 2019 box did end up winning this. Now it was uncertain there for a while. Uh, I think Derek did great today. Uh, really great, really great boxes. 2021 greatly exceeded my expectations with all the short prints and the the, uh, the rare short print of Trout. And then how about the uh, 2019 update box with Tatis and Vladdy in there, both rookie cards. I got a call for 2019. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. Also, if you could tell me what that card's worth or let everyone know what that one's worth, that would be awesome. Overall, great opening. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Face Off Friday. I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.